once again to the fourth day of our celebrations of the Goan Art Fest 2021. We have immense pleasure to present to you today yet another artist who is carving a way in the art scene in Goa. Watch Leticia Alvarez as she showcases her talents in this video. And also a shout out to Colin De Cruz from Jazz Goa for lending these musical talents with the jazz track in the background. Hello fellow wine cars. My name is Selvin Colasso, resident of the Goan Overseas Association here in Toronto. Best wishes to the Global Goan Art Club with the initiative of the Goan Art Fest 2021, a celebration of art and artists from Goa. I would like to wish all the very best to this young artist, Leticia Alberts. You can catch a magical art workshop video demo on the Global Goan Art Club Facebook page and also on the YouTube channel. You will go. Hey everyone, this is Leticia Alvarez. I am a Goa-based printmaker and I love working with charcoal too. So today I am going to do a demonstration on how to draw a rooster using a charcoal stick. I hope all of you have your charcoal ready. So let's start. Hi, good day everyone. This is Leticia Alvarez and in this video, I am going to show you all how to draw a rooster using charcoal. To start with, I am going to uh, use uh, a charcoal stick and a charcoal pencil. Okay. So let me just demonstrate how a charcoal stick works. The main quality of a charcoal stick is that it is very free flowing and you can get different, uh, different uh, lines. That is, you can get a thin line and also a thick line from the same stick. And another very interesting quality of uh, a charcoal stick is that after you draw something, you can easily merge it very effortlessly. And uh, these lines won't become permanent until you uh, spray a fixative over it. Okay, so let's start. I will start by drawing a rooster. Okay, that is by using very simplified uh, very simplified forms. To start with, I will draw the head of the rooster just by drawing like a very uh, simple uh, circular form. 
and the body of a rooster by drawing like an oval and then again I go in to draw the neck by using like a cylindrical form here and then just few basic lines to draw the tail part of it okay remember this step you are supposed to use your charcoal in a very light manner that is don't put too much of pressure because these are just going to be guidelines and draw as many lines as you all want until you all get your perfect drawing okay and just a more or less kind of a silhouette of the full uh, figure and then slowly you all can uh, add the details later on when you all are satisfied with the size of the figure and how it looks like the overall look of the full picture okay let me add in like a little grass here to create a base remember this step has to be like really light okay then we can go in and add the background so the the advantage with a charcoal stick is that you can work really fast so what we are doing here is we are just putting in charcoal just to create a background and see it it just broke i mean you can see how fragile it is if you put a little too much pressure the charcoal stick will break but that doesn't matter i can continue working and just filling in the background area after that part is done i will just use a ball of cotton just to merge all this and create a tone so with this we get like a very light gray tone so in order to make a good picture you need just uh, three basic tones that is your light tone your middle tone and your dark tone so just keep that in mind when you all are creating any drawing of any sort so you go in by adding your background so please remember that when you work with charcoal you have to go with layers one over the other only then your overall picture will build up and you will not get sharp odd lines you will get a beautifully merged picture only if you go from light to dark that is by creating one layer over the other further on i will use a charcoal pencil to put in a little details to get my drawing a little out so i will just start with the beak part of it because this is the part that is supposed to be done a little carefully because this is pretty small again please do not use too much pressure because if you use pressure then the lines will be, become permanent so please try to do it in a very light manner so that if we take like a piece of cotton and try to erase it 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 almost goes it almost disappears so what we go in and do is we try to darken the full picture up now
Just continue filling the background area. So what happens is if you put a dark background that is a little dark and if uh, the object in front is a little light, it will automatically stand out. And again, we go in with our cotton to just merge all these lines. And if you can see, I'm using the same swab of cotton, which already has a lot of uh, pigment that has uh, been lifted up. And the main part about charcoal is a small chip st stick of charcoal can go, go a long way. So, okay, when this uh, step is complete, your whole paper has like a very thin layer of charcoal all over it. So, then is the time you can start using your eraser. Okay, I have just cut uh, a normal eraser, uh, non-dust eraser into like a very sharp small piece which I am going to be using just to create the highlight part of it. Let me start with the beak. So I am using the, I am using the eraser just like another tool to draw with. And like just like the charcoal stick which would give us black lines, your eraser is going to give us white lines. So what the eraser is doing is it is just picking up the charcoal pigment that is on the paper. So you slowly try to clear your drawing out. And the advantage is that because your eraser is so sharp, like your corners are sharp, you can easily draw feathers with it and you can go to the smallest of detail. I 
I get a little grass also taken out like this. Just to create the effect. So now, now what I have is I have my middle tone and I have my light tone. What I need to add in is just my dark tone. So I'm going to take my charcoal stick again and start clearing my drawing out back again. I start with the beak. I just watch how I just put a ba dark background so the moment I put a dark background what is happening is the thing that uh, the part that is lighter tends to stand out so now we are in the process of lifting our drawing up So wherever I see like a light tone, I'm going to add a, a dark tone behind and if there's a dark tone, I will leave it light. Middle, I will I will uh, erase some white lines to create an effect that the uh, rooster is coming out. Now I am going to go and use a, a cotton bud and uh, to start with I will just pick up some pigment from here that is I have my uh, charcoal here and because I want really light lines I will go ahead and start drawing with the earbud so that I get very faint lines but the lines can be seen but they are super soft and they merge really well with your background. They yeah, are not like sharp lines. So if I had drawn lines directly with charcoal, what would happen is, if you can see, the lines are very sharp. But if I take a cotton bud, the, li the lines, you get the lines 
the lines are seen but they are comparatively softer and they merge really well with the background so you do not get a uh, disturbing like you do not get disturbing lines in the background So if I want to mix uh, much bigger areas, I'm going to use like a full piece of cotton to do that. But if I want to go in and add detail or merge a lighter, merge a lighter area, I'm going to go ahead and use the tip of a cotton bud to do that. So depending on the area, I choose my tool. So now what has happened to the drawing is it has almost vanished. You cannot really see it clearly. So that's totally fine. This create like a very light shadow. So now that I have my dark tone and my middle tone I have to uh, get my light tone so again I take my eraser and this time I'm going to further cut it to a very small piece because I want to do details now texture with the eraser as well I'm drawing out the feathers
So there are big soft black and white lines to clear the drawing out. Try not to touch the surface of your paper because the charcoal particles will come on your hand. Maybe you can use like a tracing paper to keep underneath so you avoid lifting. Now as you have almost come to an end of creating the poster, you can go in and put in as much as detail as you want. But keep in mind that the drawing has to clear out as you come to an end, as you are finishing. So if your image is light, try to get a darker background. So then automatically your picture, that part will stand out.
add in your details if you think the lines with uh, your charcoal directly are too strong you can add in your details with your with the earbud that already has charcoal on it and create like a feather effect in a similar way and to further add the details onto the feather you can have your eraser and just pull in lines like this so it will create the effect that Just fill in a nice dark background. You can get this uh, effect by just putting like patches of charcoal randomly. I'm going to switch on to my uh, charcoal pencil to create my final details.
hey viewers thank you so much for watching the demo patiently i hope you all enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed making it and i also hope that my tips of how to use charcoal come handy some day thank you thank you all for tuning in to today's sessions if you like what you saw please spread the love and let us know your feedback by commenting and sharing your thoughts on our youtube and our facebook page until next time bye bye Hi everyone and welcome to the Goan Art Fest 2021. My name is Aifima Pereira and I'm a miniature artist based in Dubai. Do watch a special showcase of my art on the 24th of September. I will be talking about my miniature art, my process, showing you some of the tools and materials that I use, and also I will be showcasing a small demo demonstrating how I make some of these amazing things. So don't forget on the 24th of September on the Global Goan Art Club page. Also make sure to check out uh, other amazing Goan artists who are going to be showcasing some of their work as well from the 20th of September to the 24th of September. So stay tuned.